hello and thank you so much for joining me for another budget with me video today i am finally sharing our march budget now if you missed the march setup as far as the stickers i'll go ahead and leave the link up above and you can go back and check it out um, any stickers that you see i do have the link down below to my etsy shop and of course i have march stickers out through may and i'm actually working on june at this time so um if you are interested go ahead and check the shop out so by the time you do see this video guys i will soon post the mid-month budget check-in for the month of march i'm still playing catch up and i'm just you know doing what i can guys i really am i am working on a project um, for the business so that is taking up some time as well but I'm going to go ahead and get our March budget set up with you guys so this is the budget on two pages for the month of March and I'm going to go ahead and get started so for our income now with hubs direct deposited uh, to this account we are planning a 24 56 for the month i know we are making a few changes so i'll keep you guys updated as far as um you know what we're allocating to this particular household account and then for me we are planning sixteen hundred dollars so our plan total is going to be forty fifty six now we are not expecting like any bonuses or anything like that for the month of march but of course we are welcoming any extra but of course that will be updated in either the mid-month check-in or the actual at the end of the month and we do have to um, indicate our son paying his phone bill but for now we just plan our budget off of um, hubs and my allocation to this account so for our tithes, we are planning to give $926. And then we get down here to our expenses. These are our basic expenses every month, guys. Um, nothing has really changed. So we do have the mortgage. We have our internet. And that is going to come in at $113.55. We have our YouTube and that's the YouTube premium, something that Hubs has. This is not for the business. We have our electricity, and this is our basic amount that we pay each month. We have car insurance, and that's still coming in at the two hundred six fifty two. Our AT&T, this is our cell phone bill, and this is for the two lines. It is prepaid. Our tax debt. For 2019, this is our installment agreement payment. So we are paying minimums until we can get back on track. We have paused putting extra monies in our saving funds uh, so that we can make sure that we take care of things around the house and not have to deplete our emergency fund. So the big thing that is on the forefront is the air conditioning, and I've been talking about that, guys. So I will definitely make sure you all get an update on that as well and then we've got the uh, lawn service and that's coming in at an estimate of $100 now groceries I did tell you guys I was going to reduce the groceries amount so I'm going to reduce it down to $700 when I got ill the first of the year hubs took over you know some of the cooking and the grocery shopping so I've been you know making sure that he does his meal planning and trying to make sure that we stay under budget. So I increased it last month to $750 and I'm going to bring it back down to $700. Now groceries are inflated guys. Everybody knows that. I don't care where you live. You are seeing the price difference with groceries. So this $700 may stay or I may, you know, reduce it again down to six fifty because generally it should be six hundred dollars a month. But I'm just kind of seeing, you know, where we fall so that we won't constantly be over budget. So that can be adjusted as we go on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and total 
our expenses to see where we are at. And hopefully we have some nice savings for the month of March as well. Now I didn't do a rollover like I did last month. So everything is just, you know, sitting in the account and it'll help us to, um, you know, take care of what we need as far as the house expenses with the, you know, maintenance and all. So our total has come to 2572.20. And then over here with the savings now again we're just you know doing the minimums and that's the emergency fund amount of the fifty dollars but i still like to list all of the funds because eventually we will start funding them so our funds for 2022 are the emergency fund we've got the pets vacation we've got tax planning and this tax planning account it is new because um, our son has graduated college and we are just looking ahead so we know that we will lose some deductions from that um, but we want to just at least try to save some extra money we generally end up owing anyway and we're able to you know write a check and be done with it but this is going to be new for us next year when we file taxes so any extra money that we can save it will definitely help because we know there will be a change we just don't know how much of a change and we have already changed our um, tax deductions that are coming out of our payroll so we're trying to make sure that we have things covered but no matter how much we are prepared of course there may be something you know that changes between now and then all right so extra debt I'm still gonna put down the uh, taxes but we're not gonna put anything extra on it as far as plan so I just like to make sure I write that down now here for our income so it's time to crunch our numbers and I'm just gonna put this back in here I just love the look of my mini HP guys. It's just lovely. So the income in our monthly overview, we are planning $4,056. Our giving, we're planning $926. And our expenses have come in at $2,572.20. And then, of course, our savings, we are planning the $50. Nothing for extra debt as well. So... Let's see here. So at 40.56 minus 9.26 minus 25.72.20 and then minus the $50. So we have 507.80 remaining. And like I've said before, generally it wouldn't be this amount because we would end up putting monies in these other funds and maybe something towards extra debt if we had it. So we're going to just keep that and like i said that'll just help us out the more as far as you know making sure we get things done without creating any additional bills guys so that is our goal to make sure that we are able to cash flow everything that we need to do this year but all right guys so this is it for the march budget setup and um, just remember that we are springing forward. That means our clocks have to be set one hour ahead. And let me know if you have any big plans for the month of March. This is my birthday month, guys. And I do plan on having a sale. It'll be closer to the um probably the third weekend in the month it'll be closer to the end of the month but i'll make an announcement on instagram when i do a um, sale for my birthday month guys but all right i am going to see you later bye